guys, what's up? It is me, Mila. Happy Thursday to everyone. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I am here to do my week 18 post-op lap band check-in. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I look forward to subscribing to your channel as well and following you along in your journey. Um, just a little refresher, as I usually try to do for those of you that are new to me, my highest weight was, oh, this is my, this is my Maddie. Um, she's mad because I said, let's go to grandma's about an hour ago and we haven't gone. So she's being a little needy right now. But anyway, so, um, I began my journey, um, October 14, 2011 at 284 pounds. I joined the gym after seeing that my highest weight was 290. Um, on February 3rd, 2012, I was banded at 240.5 pounds. And so last week I came in with the check-in of 201 pounds after uh, the week prior I had made it to Wonderland at 198. So with that said, my weight as of this morning is 199 pounds. And if you look at my last video, I said Wonderland. I came, I saw, and I left, and I took a detour, and I came back. And so um, I'm 199 pounds. Was it as victorious? Did I feel as victorious as I did the first time around? No, but in a good way because I do realize that I'm going to fluctuate and um, that's just what it is. And so I could probably step on the scale right now and be 201 or 200 or who knows because I've ate, I've drank, I've had a, I've had a full day. So, um, but I am happy. I am happy that even if I'm not losing as fast as I was before, I'm definitely not gaining at an alarming rate. Um... Uh, for those of you that are new, I have a 10cc allergen lap band, and I have two cc's in my band. Um, I've had one fill and uh, one cc, and I was given one cc at surgery. And so on May 14th, I went in for my fill appointment, and I was informed that my doctor had injured himself, and he was going to be out for five weeks. And so I'm rescheduled to go in for a fill June 18th. Um, I did call the doctor's office today because I do feel like I'm struggling a lot. And I asked, you know, I said, I know it's probably a fat chance, but is there any way that the doctor is back yet? And I was actually informed that the doctor is back, but I guess because so many patients were rescheduled, I was, June 18th was where they had been able to schedule me. So she said that they didn't have openings, but that they did have some cancellations and that she was going to put my name on a waiting list. So I'm obviously not the only one that's desperate to get in. So anyway, it honestly looks like my appointment is going to be June 18th. She didn't seem all that eager when I, when I was talking to her. Um, if you go back a couple of videos, I was ranting and raving that day and I, I might have been snippy with her. I might have been really pissy when I get there and I was told that they called to cancel the appointment the week prior. I never got a phone call. I'm not letting that go. So anyway, so it looks like June 18th is my next appointment. So until then, I just got to kind of do what I got to do and just stay really firm and, you know, on what I've been doing. So I honestly, it's just been by the grace of God that I've made it. It's been with the love and support of my friends and family in the community that have got me through it because I'm really struggling, really, really struggling, not so much with portion control, but with, um, staying satisfied. I can eat and then an hour later I'm eating something else. And so, um, I'm thankful that I haven't gained, you know, a whole lot. And so I just got to take the positive out of it. Right. You know, so Anyway, um, that's where I'm at, 199 pounds, and I accept it, and I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to do what I have to do. I've been running a lot more. I told you guys that I'm training for a 5K, and so um, I'm, I'm doing it, so I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. Some days are better than others, and, you know, that's just, again, that's just a part of this process. So um, with that said, what else has been going on? Um, nothing much, really. I cut my hair. Yeah, I cut my hair. Um, so the short story is I've been losing massive amounts of hair, like way too much hair. And I got tired of seeing my hair just coming out and so, so bad. And so I went in on Monday and I told the gal, chop it off. Give me a, a pixie cut. Make me look like Rihanna. Like, I don't care. Just cut my hair off. Um... You know, and she was like, no, Mila, I don't think we're going to do that because you, sh for anyone that knows me, they know that hair is a big deal. I talk about that all the time. And so she pretty much knew that if she cut my hair off and made it look like a pixie cut, that I was probably going to go coastal. And, um, so she, this is what she did. This was an attempt to 
um, kind of conceal it because obviously the longer it is, the stringier it is. And when my hair is wet, you can completely see my whole scalp. This is um, my attempt at kind of hiding what's going on. This, guys, is a comb over right here. This is a comb over. So anyway, um, I'm just going to keep my hair short until until it starts to grow again and um, for those of you that are new in your journey I've made videos asking kind of getting feedback and really at the end of the day there's absolutely nothing you can do I take biotin every day I take a strong dose of biotin I take my vitamins and it's just a natural part of the post-op process you're going to lose your hair um, I've been losing hair since the minute I started losing weight I'm 90 pounds down 91 you know down and I've been losing hair from the get-go but now I'm 18 weeks post-op and I'm losing a lot of hair and my understanding is that three to six months post-op, that's where it comes out. So, um, I just, I have to accept it. I have to accept the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, I can't just say that I'm going to accept it and then not accept it. So, um, I absolutely hate the haircut. I do not like it at all, but I've got to make the most of it and, um, just see, just write it out. If I have to start wearing a hat, you know, then I'll do that. But so anyway, so uh, yep, this is it. So my hair was really, really long and then it went to here and now it's up to here. So, Anyway, we'll, we'll make the most of it. So other than that, what else? So if you guys are my friends on my fitness pal, you know that I had a crazy weekend. And I had one of the best weekends that I haven't had in a long time. I haven't laughed. I haven't danced. I haven't partied like that in a long, long time. And so with that said, at my goddaughter's graduation party, um, it was a couple hours away. And um, so we spent the night, we spent the weekend. And so um, there was drinks, there was all this fun stuff, there was a water slide. And so um, yours truly, <sighs> she got a little tipsy. <laughs> there was three options. There was beer, there was jello shots, and there was a bottle of Patron, or several bottles of Patron. And I don't drink beer because I don't drink anything carbonated because my lap band doesn't allow it. And not only that, but I don't really like beer anyway. Um, Jallo shots. I'm pretty much sick of Jallo. I I did Jallo way too much in this in this surgery process. So and I didn't want a belly full of Jallo. So I might as well put a straw in the bottle of Patron. I I drank quite a bit, and so I got impulsive. I just I threw myself into the bounce house water slide, and with that I forgot that my cell phone was tucked right here into my bra because I tend to put it there a lot. And it had died hours before, and so I forgot that my cell phone was tucked in here. So yours truly threw herself in the pool with her phone, and my phone completely died. It was completely damaged, and I just got a new phone in. So um, I've been trying to catch up with all of the videos and everything that, you know, everyone's updates and stuff. And so I just had a lot of fun. I needed that. I really, really did. It was so nice and refreshing to get away from work duties, from everything that I've had going on. So it was an expensive, expensive, impulsive thing to do. But it is what it is, and, you know, it's all good. So anyway, um, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot to report. I'm just doing me, just, you know... Um, taking care of what I have to take care of. So before I end this video, I do want to talk about something really quick. I kind of said that I wasn't going to talk about it and I'm not really going to get into anything, but I know that videos are going around um, regarding support. And I just want to share uh, just really quick my take on does not directly involve me. That's just not my style. I have I have way too much going on to involve myself in, in something that, you know, is not mine. But I just wanted to say to my subscribers and to those that I am subscribed to, uh, the reason that I'm here on YouTube is because I need support. That's what I'm looking for. And not only that, but I'm looking to support other people. And in doing so, um, for those of you that kind of have been watching my videos, you know that I was very hesitant about putting my videos online. Um, I was making videos as a way to document this journey for myself. I'm not good with the pen and paper. I don't know how to journal. I don't know how to diary. And so this was the easiest, best bet for me. And I started to watch other people's videos, um, and I was inspired. And when I was inspired enough to share my videos, thinking that if I could ever help somebody with just anything, then, you know, then it'd be good. Not only as a weight loss patient, but as um, a weight loss surgery patient, but as a single mom, as a someone that was a young mom, someone that has gone through horrible heartache and heartbreak and just different things. And through that process, I've been able to connect with people that, you know, I never imagined connecting with and I share deep bonds with them. And so I really do appreciate that. And so the basically what I just want to say is that I'm here for support and I'm here to give support. And I want you guys to know that it doesn't matter who you are or how you how you are what you think 
we're all here for the same reason and I want you to know that you can find somebody in me that can support you and hopefully I can find the same thing in you um, again all this extra other fluff I've been out of the loop and I think that's a good thing but um, I do want I did want to talk about the support so from the bottom of my heart guys you will never know how grateful I am to have you guys in my life every comment every blessing every hug every, everything means so much to me um, there was someone in my life that had the surgery that I thought I was going to be able to walk hand in hand with and I have not seen that individual since the day of my surgery and it's been very hard for me to take it's been very 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 hard for me to take and um, without this community I would not have been able to make it this far so I'm very very thankful I I just I yesterday I watched a video from Jen and she made a very good point when she said that there's a difference between people that inspire us and people that support us. And I have definitely learned that in the last 18 months. I've learned who's inspired me and who has supported me. And that's what I need. I need support and I need to give support because that's what it's all about. Um, I have a really big heart and I feel that I have enough enough of a heart to share it with those that need it. So again, I just want to say thank you to everyone. You guys mean the world to me. Um, and yeah, so anyway, for those of you that have continued to lose weight this week, continue to rock it. You guys are absolutely amazing. For those of you that haven't had that great of a week, don't worry. Tomorrow's another day. And at least that's what I got to keep telling myself. So take care, guys. God bless. I love you all. Bye, guys.